beautiful. If this is your first time here, I'm an intuitive Terran Oracle reader. Now, my dear, I hope you're having an amazing day and everything is going fine with you. If today is not the best day, I'm sending you tons and tons and tons of positive energy and I hope everything will be well soon. Now guys, today I'm back with another pick a card reading and today's pick a card reading is all about your first or next date with your future spouse, depending on if you already know this person or not. And yeah, I'm very excited for this reading. It was a suggestion of one of my dear viewers. So thank you very much for that, my dear. And also, just in general, if you have any more suggestions regarding love readings or even like any topic, please let me know in the comment section below and I will definitely add it to my list. So my dear, as you can see, as always, I have three pals for you to choose from. And yeah, today it's only cards, no crystals. So you can either choose for pile one, this beautiful card, the spiritual union. For pile two, you can choose this beautiful card of the family. And for pile three, we have the beautiful card of the harmony. So as always, you know, feel free to pause the video or you can also meditate on the cards if you feel like you need a little bit more time, you know, to choose. You will find the timestamps in the description box, but of course also in the comment section. And if you are drawn to book a personal reading with me, you can definitely feel free to email me. The email is down in the description box, but also in the comment section, and then I will give you further information. But yeah, my dear, also please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not everything may resonate with you. But yeah, having said that, let's begin. Hey, pal three, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now let's look into your first or next date with your future spouse. Let's see where will it be, what will happen, okay, all the tea. So I'm definitely very excited for that. So let's see for my dear pal one, for pal one, please, their first or next date with their future spouse. What can we get about it? For my dear pal one, their next or first date with their future spouse. All right. So let's see for you, my dear. Let's see. For my dear pal one, their next or first date with their future spouse. Please let the card fall down. Okay. Wow, interesting. So we got the Hermit card. We got the Seven of Cups. All right. Let's see. For my dear pal one, their first or next date with their future spouse. What can we get about it? Oh my goodness, <laughs> too many cards. <laughs> so please only one. All right, so we got the seven of wands here. Let's see for you, my dear. I'm going to get eight cards. The hanged man, it actually also flipped over and now it's back here. So it definitely has to come through. We got the five of pentacles. Okay, that's a very kind of romantic date that I'm seeing here. Okay, and well, I'm going to take all these cards then. And we got the Three of Cups, that's nice. We got the Emperor, okay, and the King of Cups right here. Now, let me make sure you can see all the cards because they look a little bit... Um, no, let me see. I want to make sure they're all in one line. <laughs> All right, my dear, let me, okay. So, for my dear pile one, first of all, the energies are definitely really great here, okay? Like, um, I'm definitely seeing where this is going. And it's going to be a date that you're definitely going to very much enjoy, whether this is actually the first date or maybe even like the next date that you're going to have with this person. So first of all, what you need to know about this is what I'm definitely seeing is that this date is going to um, go kind of all the way till night, till the evening, okay? It's not like something that you're going to have for a few hours, like a day, like in the daytime, you're going to have a date with them and that's it. No, you're going to really spend a lot of time with each other and it's definitely going to be a very long date in which you will also still be together when it's getting dark. Now, what I'm seeing is that, first of all, um, 
with the seven of cups being here so this person has definitely done a lot of preparation um regarding this date okay so it doesn't matter if we're talking here but about the divine feminine or the divine masculine it doesn't matter but this person has done a lot of preparation so what i'm feeling is that if this is the divine feminine if you're asking about the divine feminine then she's or you know i'm not gonna say any genders because it doesn't matter energy doesn't have any gender so the divine feminine will have made a lot of kind of preparation i'm seeing to look a certain way because i'm almost feeling like they're gonna want to impress okay and if you are requiring about the divine masculine they will somehow have um, done some kind of preparation regarding this scenario so i feel like the divine masculine is gonna be the um, initiator so to speak regarding this date so um the divine masculine will have also divine feminine okay so you see how it resonates for you okay um but i definitely see that the person who is more so in their divine masculine energy will have planned that and this person will have definitely done a lot of preparation regarding um the location okay i also see that um with the seven of cups being here there is something very intriguing about this card and all the gold that we see here okay and what i'm seeing is that there is gonna be some kind of exchange in gifts now as an example for some of you guys it could be the case that it will be from like one of you guys as, as an example birthdays um that you guys will to celebrate together um in kind of a date or for other stuff you can just be a plain day but still there's some kind of meaning um like someone still wants to show their affection but i'm seeing this affection being shown in some kind of offering in the form of a gift okay this is what i'm seeing um and what i'm feeling is that yeah i feel like the divine masculine again with the dragon being here it's really giving me kind of this masculine energy here so it's gonna be more so the divine masculine which will uh, or who will give this offering okay now what i'm seeing is that it's definitely gonna be um somewhere in nature okay like this is more so a very natural kind of scenario that i'm seeing for you guys but it's gonna be someone very like somewhere really private also with the seven of wands being here it's not like someone like somewhere um like a park okay near you which it's like crowded it's full a lot of people come and go no it's more so kind of a more intimate um place but it's actually gonna be very beautiful because it almost feels like homely in a way um even though if this is the first time you actually go to this place it's still gonna feel very um kind of zen you know very calming and um i'm definitely again see that you will be staying in this place even uh, like when it gets dark like you will meet this person there at daytime um when it's still you know um like when still the sh sun is shining and then it will again go all the way till the evening um yeah definitely and i also see that as an example there will be um candles or l like um lamps i think that's what i'm not quite sure what this is called but like lamps <laughs> um somewhere like a lot of beautiful lightning i'm seeing um yeah what i'm seeing as well is that um there is definitely be a lot of like eating and drinking so this is the kind of date because i mean dates doesn't necessarily have to do anything with like eating okay or drinking some people go on dates where they're just doing some activities you know um and they don't eat anything at all but with you guys there is definitely because with the three of cups it's almost like it's always this kind of energy of someone drinking you know talking like chit-chatting um but also taking or um consuming something you know consuming food as an example this will definitely be the kind of date in which you guys will um yeah which as an example i see you sitting somewhere and you will be eating something you will be drinking something right and it's just gonna be a very very cozy environment but at the same time very um very intimate and also um yeah very beautiful you know no matter where this is gonna be no matter where you are from this is definitely a place which is very um like a lot of nature there this is definitely what i'm feeling for you guys here 
and I just see you talking a lot and I also feel like um, especially for those of you guys who may like maybe it takes a little bit of time for you to open up to other people or you know share your story um, but you're gonna feel so safe okay with this person which you will be able to um, like your guards you will be able to um, put them down you know you will really be in this kind of place where you feel like you can share yourself you can share your story and maybe even those like vulnerable parts of you that you may not really be able to share with anyone and I'm not saying especially for those of you guys who maybe this is the first date that you're gonna share your whole life with this person right because at the end of the day um especially for those who again may not know this person maybe you are in this kind of process of getting to know them but still it's gonna be something very um safe in a way that you feel like you can share okay like this is the kind of person that they are they're gonna um give you a sense of safety also with the emperor being here the emperor you know in the traditional tarot can definitely mean a lot of different things but what I'm actually giving is kind of this, um, and I'm not talking here again about gender, but kind of this fatherly energy in which we feel safe, you know, very nurturing. And again, it doesn't matter if this is um, a div the divine feminine or the divine masculine. The energy that you guys are going to share is going to be this very nurturing and very this uh, comfortable, okay? In which you again feel like you can put your guards um, down. Also, I feel like there's going to be some kind of revelation um, exposed here. Again, maybe they are going to tell you something or vice versa. But I feel like it's more so they are going to express something to you that you don't know. Could be something regarding their background, their life, okay? Or maybe even feelings, right? Um, maybe they're really going to tell you guys how, again, with the emperor, how serious they really are with you. Again, for those, of course, who this is going to be the first date. Um, but regardless of how it's going to be, again, there's this energy of them, um, some kind of revelation, okay, in which you're going to then see this person in a different light, but in a, like, in a good light. As an example, they maybe share to you um, how much they care about you or what they would like what they have planned okay for the future and it's really gonna just light up something in you in which you're gonna feel like wow like um, yeah that's what I want you know it's very interesting we got the spiritual union card here right so what I'm feeling is that maybe you're gonna have this epiphany moment in which you're gonna realize that um, this is either the one for you or um, you're going to really feel like, you know, yeah, in which you're going to really feel like this person is this person that you have been waiting for. And um, yeah, for some of you guys, maybe you're literally going to feel like it's a spiritual union, right? You're literally going to feel like this is someone that you actually want to create this, you know, maybe within this scenario no matter if it's the first or it doesn't matter um the next you know kind of date that you're gonna have with them you're gonna have this again this revelation which you're gonna understand yes this is the person i want to marry with the king of cups being here as well um i definitely feel like as well when we talk about the food here there's gonna be something very um luxurious i'm hearing like like even if this is somewhere in nature okay like a very simple kind of date okay for some of you guys as an example if this is something you like maybe even a picnic doesn't matter but something is going to be very luxurious about it maybe it's the gift maybe it's the food that you're going to eat um it is going to be something that they have um asked someone to prepare and it's going to be delivered to you um, or it's something someone has prepared from like it doesn't matter maybe it's even in a place where there's food somewhere to buy um, in a very intimate kind of scenario here but regardless of that it's gonna be something you're gonna enjoy because this really reminds me of honey and um, you know honey is definitely something in my I um, in my understanding at least which is kind of something very, um, I don't know, 
know why I heard luxurious, you know, because I mean, as if we look at honey, you know, those bees, they do so much um, in the process of creating it. And there is so much like, um, you know, so much in the process of them. Like, how should I say it? Um, I just feel like, you know, it's something so precious, okay, for bees, like honey is something so precious for them. And um, I just feel like, again, regarding the food, somehow it's going to be something very, um, I'm hearing impressive, like, <laughs> you know, this is just the way it's coming across here, definitely. Maybe it's going to be some kind of sweet, like, um, um, some kind of sweets are going to be here, which are maybe very, um, like some kind of cakes, which take a lot of preparation. Maybe a certain bakery has made it. Like there's something very also luxurious about something that you're gonna consume, okay? <laughs> like my, like it's it's very interesting energy that I'm picking up on. But like there's definitely a lot of effort that has been put into it. And again, um, like maybe some of you guys are gonna say, well, um, this sounds so simple. Like somewhere in nature, like. Hey, this person needs to do something very big for me. But you need to understand that um, they are doing a lot, you know. Again, this is definitely something so beautiful in which you're going to feel so safe. You're going to feel so, um, like, so welcome. You're going to feel, I'm hearing you're going to feel their heart. You're going to feel how much um, of their heart they have put into that. You know, this is what I'm feeling. Like, even when it gets dark, again, maybe certain lamps are shining very bright and it just it seems so like so romantic i'm hearing let me see yeah i'm getting again the feminine energy is gonna put a lot of effort into the way she looks or um again i said she again my dear uh, i don't mean any gender it's just maybe a lot of people watching are the divine feminine and um this is why this came through but i'm not talking about gender here um, but definitely the divine feminine has put a lot of effort into that. I feel like, mm, yeah, you know, it's very interesting because both parties want to impress the other person and it comes from a very like beautiful place, um, like from a very genuine place. Um, it's almost like, you know, you want to impress each other in a way that, um, you want to show the other person how much, you know, you care about them, how much you love them, whether it be through the way you present yourself, whether the way um, you, you have planned this, whether the way, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. Because we as human beings, we can um, show our affection in so many different ways. And again, it's going to be different for every and each one of you guys. But this is what I'm picking up on. Um, and again, it's going to be a very kind of very intimate um, one, okay? It's almost like this energy of um, you're going to be in your own kind of sacred garden of Eden. <laughs> I'm getting the energy here and it almost feels like you're going to be only you guys, especially with the hermit. The hermit is a very kind of isolating energy. So it's definitely someone, you know, where you guys are going to be alone together. And um, also what I'm feeling is that it almost feels like um, you're going to have your sacred place, you know. Yeah, very kind of sacred place to enjoy yourselves. And I feel like it's going to be a date that um, you're going to remember for a very long time because it very feel, feels like heart, um, t like as if someone is touching your heart. Okay, this is what I'm feeling. Yeah, let me see what's at the back of the deck. Okay, yeah. Definitely. Hmm. So what I'm also feeling is that um, some of you guys could be keeping that a secret for some reason. Maybe some of you guys don't want other people to know from this relationship, uh, about this relationship, okay? For some reason. Maybe some of you guys just don't want other people to be in your business, Especially maybe if this is the first um, date, you don't want to um, tell anyone anything, um, but it doesn't matter. Maybe family, maybe friends, maybe you have just, um, from some of you guys have just, or feel like for some reason they cannot share it. Because maybe of some 
cultural reasons or maybe because um, people tend to give you their opinions without you even wanting to hear them and they tend to you know always have, have a say in your life so you just want this to be something between you and this person this is what I'm seeing here yeah so my dear pal one please feel free to let me know how you feel about this it's definitely a very beautiful energy here again it's a very heart-centered kind of energy and it's a beautiful natural um scenario that I'm hearing no, I'm sorry that I'm searing definitely here yeah so my dear pal one um if you liked it please feel free to let me know with a like a comment or a subscription if you haven't and also my dear if you would like to book a personal reading with me you can feel free to email me my email is down in the description box but also in the comment section and if you would like to connect with me even more my channel's instagram account is in the description box down below and of course i invite you there as well but yeah pal one <laughs> Take care. Hey, pal two, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now let's see your first or next date with your future spouse. So for my dear pal two, let's see what can we get about it. For pal two, please, your first or next date. Oh my goodness, <laughs> with your future spouse. All right, let me put it right here. Your first or next date with your future spouse. Let's see. Your first or next date. Oh my goodness, so interesting. So we got the two of swords here. All right, let's see, let's see. So let me see, we got the, oh my goodness, the six of cups, such a beautiful card to get. I love this card. <laughs> so let's see for my dear pal two, the magician, oh my goodness. So let's see for my dear pal. Okay, so one card fell as well. Let me get it. All right, so we got, first of all, we got the chariot card here. Let me see. So we got the chariot card. We also got the wheel coming through. All right. The page of wands. <laughs> so for my dear pal two, let's see. Wow, the ten of pentacles. Okay, the ten of pentacles. And one last card, please, for my dear pal two. The hanged men came also out for pal one. Maybe some of you guys were drawn to pal one as well. So, all right. And at the back of the deck, we got the six of swords. Wow, okay, that's very interesting. So, um, there's one thing that I'm seeing here. You know, there are quite some cards for me that also talk about um, kind of this can also be a trip, okay? Or some kind of traveling it doesn't have to be big airplane pla like traveling right however it could be you know with the chariot being here and the six of swords there is of definitely this energy of traveling here or kind of moving energy so maybe some of you guys are gonna um go to this place to the state um you know by car it could even be a very far place or of course it can even be like literally a trip or a traveling energy here but regardless of that, let's look into the date here. So what I'm seeing is that with the Ten of Pentacles being here, first of all, there has definitely been sp like put some money into this date. Um, also with the Magician being here. So it's very interesting. The person who has planned this date has put a lot of a lot of thought into this. And when I like, I just saw the ten, like the Two of Swords here is also a very interesting. Um, <laughs> it gives me a very interesting message. Um, so I feel like this person has had maybe even some kind of anxiety or stress about this because I feel like they wanted it to be perfect or they wanted it to be very, um, I'm hearing magical and therefore um, 
it they definitely were stressed about it you know okay <laughs> like about the state you know again maybe this person whoever this is has even put some like the person who has planned the state or ask the other person out they have definitely put some money into it okay and they have really thought it through it almost feels like um they're going to be very nervous whether you actually uh, or whoever um was invited okay take it how it resonates but they're almost very nervous about like how the other person will react okay um because i feel like yeah they will have put a lot of thought in it and a lot of passion as well we got the page of wands here so this is a very creative person okay as an example like they could have put some very creative kind of energies into the state as an example maybe this person um has somehow um you know maybe they have at some time asked um you or the other depending on you know who's asking who out um, but they have asked the other person what their favorite meal is, their favorite food. And it could be something very, um, very special, you know. Or maybe, you know, a certain dish that you always wanted to try, but you haven't. You will have somehow told them, you know, just maybe even briefly. Um, not really thinking about anything. Um... But this person will have picked up on that. You know, they are a great listener. They are a great communicator. Also with the magician being here. And then you will go to this date and um, yeah, they will serve it to you. You know, um, again, there has been a lot of thought put into it, especially as well with the page of wands. You need to understand the page of wands is also kind of a very mindful, kind of creative energy, very passionate energy. So this person, I feel like they are going to be the one who will, um, for the majority of you guys, 90%, this person who you are requiring about your future spouse is going to be the person who will be planning that. This is more so what I'm feeling. But again, take it how it resonates because for others, it could even be, you know, vice versa. But again, I feel like this person has definitely, again, um, they have a lot of passion towards you and they have a lot of passion towards this relationship and like showing you how much they care and showing you that they really are like they mean it and they really would like to um you know if as an example especially for those of you guys who this could be the first date um and they really would like to take it to the next level you know um but again what i'm seeing is that they will have thought a lot through it um literally with the two of swords it could have been very stressful, <laughs> like very exhausting, or um, maybe, you know, they, they were also pretty indecisive about certain things. Maybe um, they were thinking about certain locations and they weren't sure, and it was really a struggle, you know, to find something or to choose something. Um, so this person definitely cares about you a lot um, because there has been been a lot of kind of thought that was put into that okay and this alone shows how much they really care about you you know that they're going such a like long way to actually really make sure that um you're gonna enjoy it and um what i'm also seeing again um with the page of wands being here there could be some literal like, very creative um things included in this date as an example, um, maybe you have once said that there is something you always would like to do and um, this person will somehow organize it, you know, or again, it could be the food. There is something like this is a great listener and they will somehow maybe um, with the six of cups being here, the six of cups is a card which is also kind of, you know, like um, connected to our childhood. So maybe you will have told them something about your childhood, something you always wanted to do or see or experience. And again, they will somehow make it work. Again, I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles is definitely um, one of the highest cards in the tarot that signify a certain um, level of resource, okay? So what I'm seeing is that, um, yeah, they will have definitely put some effort regarding that into it. And maybe, you know, 
As an example, maybe you will, you know, um, tell your future spouse beforehand that for some time you have not had a lot of fun because you were really stressed with work or with whatever. And they will then again, um, planning this date, make sure that there is this, you know, this excitement in it. Again, you know, just this lighthearted energies, you know, kids or children in general, there is this lighthearted energy about them. And I feel like they want to bring you back to this, you know again maybe for some of you guys you have had before that you have had some you know tough period or a lot of stress work whatever and they will just make sure that you come back to this very innocent kind of joyful part of you and this is really something a lot like a lot of thought through energy here let me tell you that okay like for some of you guys, they could also literally, okay, with the chariot and with the hanged man being here, there could literally be some kind of even action um, connected to this. Maybe climbing like something or um, not for everyone, because for some of you guys, it could even be a, a little bit kind of a more quiet, like quieter, quieter kind of date. But for others of you, I see action being here as well, you know, because again, it is somehow connected to you connecting to your inner child um, and just having fun. I just feel like, again, maybe before going on this date, you will have not had fun for some time because you will be occupied, you know, with other things. And this person will want to bring you out of this energy, even if it's just for a day and make you feel like a child again like again this person really cares about you a lot and they really would like to see you um having fun so they will somehow organize that this is really what i'm feeling here now let me see let me see with the wheel being here i feel like for some of you guys um especially for those of you guys who this will be the first date okay Maybe you've been waiting for quite some time for um, the state to happen. Maybe because not like no one has asked the other person, or for some reason there has been some delay. But the message in here is definitely that it will be at the right time when it will happen. Um, yeah, this is definitely the wheel card is like the wheel of fortune is a very kind of destined energy. It's it has a lot of divine timing energy about it and. Um, a love kind of fated energy so what i'm seeing is that regardless of how it's going to work out for you for sure it will be at the right timing even if some of you guys have felt like oh, like why or, or how or no i'm sorry when okay when will this happen like when will i have my first or next date with this person and maybe again there has not been a lot happening but when this happens then um, it will just feel right, you know, you will just feel like, yes, this is the right time for it to happen, it feels good, it feels right, and um, it is supposed to unfold that way. <sighs> Definitely. Let me see. Okay, this is a very specific message, and it will not um, resonate with everyone, okay? So take it how it resonates. But for those of you guys who may already have a family or may already have children, okay, Again, only for those of you guys, because it's a very small portion. Um, it's not the majority, a very minority. Some people watching this have children. If you have children, then what I'm seeing is that you're going to take your children with you. And again, maybe there is something very excited about the state that also is going to excite the children. And therefore, it's going to bring out your inner child. This is what I'm seeing. But again, take it how it resonates. It's not going to be for everyone. Um, and if it's not children, it's going to be pets, maybe dog, okay? Like maybe some of you guys have dogs or they have dogs or one dog, whatever. And you're going to take this, um, yeah, with you. You're going to take them with you. This is what I'm seeing. Let me see. I see that this date um, is going to start off inside. So... Um, it's going to be definitely somewhere inside. And again, if you resonate with the message that it's going to then, you know, you're going to go to somewhere maybe more adventurous, then you're going to go outside for it. But um, this is more so kind of insight energy regarding date. Or as an example, if you go to a certain place, it's going to be... Um, 
yeah some for some reason you're gonna also go somewhere where um it's maybe it's gonna be a building or it's gonna be inside i'm hearing because this can actually be a very like um a date where there is a lot gonna happen you know maybe you're first gonna eat something then you're gonna take a walk then you're gonna go do some kind of activity like a lot of um like this is a very active kind of energy i'm getting here Maybe you're gonna have some, maybe like a little bit intimate calming time, you know, while eating somewhere. Um, but then I feel like it's gonna, you know, um, speed up and get, like I'm getting, and then faster and faster, like this energy, and then you might do something very exciting at the end, you know. It may start off a little bit more calm, a little bit more, um, like relax <laughs> um, but then it's gonna kind of speed up into a more so adventurous kind of date and again not for everyone but for some of you guys definitely because this person again wants you to experience a lot maybe this is a day that you're gonna take off or for those of you guys if this is really a trip somehow then uh, maybe you will just be there for a, a certain amount of time and they will make sure that within a day you will be able to experience a lot because again maybe you will not stay at this place to like or this country or this city whatever it is um too long and therefore you just have a limited kind of amount of time and therefore they're gonna pack a lot of things into one day you know this is the kind of energy that i'm feeling but it's very exciting very very exciting here yeah and the food is going to be great. Like I'm hearing the food is going to be so delicious. Maybe for some of you guys, it's really kind of some kind of food that um, is from a, another like, um, like from another country, you know, just something very exciting, something very delicious, something you don't eat always, but it's going to be bomb. I'm hearing. Yeah. So my dear pal too, please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. It was definitely um, a very exciting energy to, you know, to tune into. This is going to be a very exciting date for sure. <laughs> and yeah, if you liked it, my dear, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't. And if you feel drawn to book a personal reading with me, you can of course feel free to email me. My email is down in the description box, but also in the comment section. And if you also feel drawn to book a person, I'm sorry, <laughs> to connect with me, this is what I wanted to say. If you feel drawn to connect with me even more, you can also feel free to follow me on Instagram. My channel's Instagram account is in the description box down below. And of course, I invite you there as well. But yeah, my dear pal too, take care. Hey pal three, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now let's look into the next or first date that you're gonna have with your future spouse. Let's see where will it be, how will it be, what you guys will do and all the details. So let's see for my dear pal three, their first or next date with their future spouse. All right, let's see my dear, your first or next date with your future spouse. Your first or next date with your future spouse. Oh my goodness. So, we got the Eight of Pentacles. We got the Emperor here. Some of you guys could have been drawn as well to Pile 1, I'm hearing. So, let me see. Your first or next date. Oh my goodness. With your future spouse. Let's see. The Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. The Three of Cups here. So for my dear pal three, let's look into that. Let's see, my dear, let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me see. The Four of Cups here. So for my dear pal three, all right. We got the Ace of Swords, okay. <laughs> and one card fell, let me see, my dear. got the three of pentacles well let me first make sure the cards okay and one last card so let's look into that and we got the four of swords at the back of the deck we got 
Wow, we got the two of cups. Oh my goodness, and the devil. I don't know why I've been drawn to look at that, but oh my goodness, okay. Oh my goodness, pile three. Okay, so I just need just to say um, what I heard. And what I heard is that this is going to be a very romantic, um, you know, date. But for those of you guys who are open for it, um, this can also, at the end of the night, um, you know, become something very sexual. So take it how it resonates, but with the devil being here, you know, it's very interesting. I definitely feel like I should put the devil card and the two of cups here. Um... So what I find really interesting is actually that, you know, the Two of Cups is such a kind of, as well, innocent energy. And then we got the Devil card here, which is like the opposite. And what I'm seeing is that you and your future spouse, you're definitely going to have a lot of feelings towards, you, towards each other. Um, a lot of love, okay? Like, even if this is your first date, um there's going to be a lot of emotions between you guys equally. And this is something very interesting that I, like, um, like, how should I say it? There is so much love in here. The other pals didn't really get that. Like a lot of, ex like you're going to be at a state emotionally where you're really going to, um, yeah, you're going to have so much emotions for them. You're going to deeply be in love. This is what I'm hearing. And, um, at the same time, there's definitely a lot of sexual energy that comes with it. And um, I definitely see that um, <laughs> some of you guys, not everyone, okay, take it how it resonates again, um, will want this to not end very fast. Like you will also want to take this, um, you know, to the bedroom. Let me, ex let me you know, um, say it like that. This is definitely something that I'm also seeing, um, yeah. But what I'm seeing is that, um, let me see. Yeah, first of all, my dear, there's going to be a lot of talking during this date. Like, um, and what I'm seeing this, is that this is going to be um, at someone's home. We got the four of wands here. This can either be your future spouse's places or your place, regarding on how it's going to look. But this is in someone's home. And so someone is going to invite the other person to their place. And, um, you know, it's, and I feel like for the majority of you guys, it's going to be the place of the divine masculine because we got the emperor being here. And we also got the four of wands here. So the divine masculine is going to invite the divine feminine. Okay. And what I'm seeing is that first of all, um, yeah. So what, you know, with the ace of swords being here, Swords energy is a very mental energy at the same time. It's also a very communicative kind of energy. So what I'm seeing is that there's going to be a lot of talking here again. So you may share a lot with each other. You may um, talk about your childhoods. You may talk about your future. You may talk about anything. A lot of talking, but I'm also getting a lot of deep talking because the emperor energy is not like kind of let's play around and that's it. No, this is someone who's there for business. This is someone who's very serious. So a lot of deep talking that I'm seeing for you guys, you know, that you're going to share with each other um, on a very deep level here. And um, for some of you guys, not for everyone, but for some, there could even be some um, alcoholic, you know, drinks there, maybe cocktails, maybe... Um, wine okay but this is what i'm hearing again not for everyone but for some for sure it's very interesting because i feel like this person or you on each other yeah two of cups is literally is a soulmate card as well so take it how it resonates but also with the harmony card um i did not got this message for the other piles but for you guys this can de literally also be um like this is a, could be a soulmate connection or some kind of very deep connection that I'm feeling for you here. Okay, that's being emphasized here. And you know, when we talk about these connections, they also have something very healing about them, right? Also with the Four of Swords, it's a very kind of healing energy. So you guys are definitely going to enjoy yourselves. I'm, I'm even um, hearing in the background music, like very slow music as well. And, um, yeah, 
let me see. Hmm. That's that's very interesting. You know, I was drawn through the fact that maybe some of you guys were drawn to pal one as well. And I'm getting one message that I also got there, which is that I feel like someone is gonna gift something to the other person. And you know, we got the Queen of Pentacles being here holding this giant coin. So I feel like the divine masculine is more so gifting the divine feminine something. This is what I'm feeling, yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, I also got this message for them as well. But regardless of that, um, I see that, you know, it's also going to be something very kind of exciting because for some of you guys, this could also be the first time that you're going to be at this person's place. So there is a lot of curiosity there, a lot of kind of looking around and wanting to grasp this person's character. Because, you know, sometimes... A person's home tells a lot about their personality or, or about who they are, depending on how they've decorated it or just in general what you can find there. And I almost feel like you're going to do a lot of kind of... Um, not, not searching, that sounds really weird. Um, but you're going to be very curious, you know, about, as an example, um, how their living room looks like. For some of you guys, it's definitely going to also lead towards the bedroom. Again, take it how it resonates. I you know, especially if this is the first date, not everyone will be open or want this. So we are, a lot of people are watching this. So again, it's a general reading. A lot of energies are coming through. So you know for yourself what you know resonates with you and what doesn't. But with the devil being here, this is something which is definitely emphasized here for some of you guys. And it needs to be said. So yeah, for some of you guys, you're also gonna um, explore this person's bedroom, but this is what I'm feeling here. But you know, um, there's this is definitely the kind of energy, for some of you guys, with the Three of Cups being here, um, which has the celebration energy about it, you could even, like, literally um, be slow dancing with them a little bit, you know, with the, look at this harmony card, like, um, you could literally like after dinner, you know, just dance a little bit in the living room with them around. Um, you know, it's a very, you know, these people are touching each other, their hands. And then you see this green energy here, which is, um, it's the color of the heart chakra, right? So again, on the two of cups being here as well, it's a very kind of, um, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, my dear. <laughs> It's a very kind of, like you guys, I feel like you're going to look into each other's eyes and you're just going to know what the other person feels. Even if this is the first date, you're going to know how serious you are about each other. And there's going to be this attraction, there's going to be this pull, and it's just going to feel right. And therefore, this is why I feel like for some, it can literally lead towards something more than just having... A casual, like a date with each other it can also lead to um you guys spending the night with each other but again take it how it resonates because not everyone will want to do that what i'm also seeing is that um this person will have put a lot of effort into um it's very interesting because if i'm not wrong i feel like el like almost every pile someone has put a lot of effort into it and this alone t says, you know, says a lot about um the other person caring for you right but what i'm feeling is that this person will have made the food themselves this is what i'm feeling like they will have cooked the person who invites the other person to their place they will cook the dinner themselves and um <laughs> Yeah, but I'm not getting the, like, I'm not seeing whether, um, you know, it's going to be delicious or not, whether this person is a great cook or not, but it's not about that, you know, it's really about, um, <laughs> about this person has kind of handmade it all themselves, you know, with the Eight of Pentacles, it's a very, like, DIY energy, which tells me that, um, yeah, they will have cooked themselves. So I'm very curious about how you guys feel about it. Because, you know, some people would like to maybe order something. And others really feel like if someone cooks for them, it says a lot about, you know, the effort that someone has put into it. As an example, now that we talk about date, right? 
But also another thing that I'm seeing is that even if it's this person's place, um, just know that, um, especially for those of you guys, for some reason, maybe, who have some... Um, who maybe have some kind of shyness or it's maybe a little bit difficult for you to go to this place because I don't know for some reason maybe some of you guys have an issue with um I, I don't know why this message is coming through this is not gonna resonate with everyone but for some of you guys you're gonna feel a little bit weird or a little bit gonna feel maybe a little bit strange for you to go to this person's place but um maybe because it's the first time you don't know what to expect but let me just tell you that this with the four of wands being here this person like this their place will feel like home they will have such a cozy comfortable you know um place or environment um you see you see that there is this home here and then there's this light shining through it and this person's going to go there, right? So I feel like it's going to, again, be a very cozy energy, very warm. As an example, if this person has a fireplace, the fireplace will be on. Uh, maybe a lot of candles will be on. Um, can, this can literally be a candle light dinner. Like, seriously, this is what I'm seeing for some of you guys. Uh, again, I'm also seeing wine there. Um, it's something very kind of stereotypically romantic that I'm hearing um I don't know why I heard Valentine's Day for some I don't know why this came through but you I'm just gonna put it out there but this is what I'm hearing this is what I'm seeing here so for some this can even be Valentine's Day <sighs> maybe this is why the f feminine energy is gonna get something gifted um but I, if this is Valentine's Day, I feel like the feminine energy is also going to gift something to the masculine energy. You know, it's a very equal kind of energy that I'm feeling here. But it's going to be very cozy and very comfortable. And again, for some of you guys, um, you're going to get naked. But not for everyone, but for some. But not in a kind of way, uh, I just want to, you know... Um, like those very primal desires, I want to satisfy them. No, we also got the two of cups here. So it is not only about doing it. It's just, I mean, yes, the attraction is there. And yes, you are definitely sexually attracted to each other big time. This is the only pile that I got this message coming through. But the two of cups is the card of balance and we also hear i saw the justice card being here so there's gonna be balance there and um so if you guys are gonna choose to become intimate it's not only about becoming intimate so you can satisfy your needs it's also about you love this person you want to be with them you know harmony it's not like kind of only a sexual desire it is a very, like, it comes from a place of love. We just want to be with this person. But, get, but again, take it how it resonates. Because not everyone is going to want to do it. Um, but that's what I'm seeing. Let me see. What can I get about this? Hmm. Both parties are going to put a lot of effort into their appearance. A lot of effort. I see, as an example... Um, Okay, this may sound weird, but um, freshly washed clothes, um, a great perfume, maybe someone putting on makeup and um, maybe even coloring the hair or um, just some kind, like a lot of preparation from both people though. From both parties, a lot of preparation regarding the appearance. This is what I'm hearing. Yeah. For some, it can even be some very seducing kind of lingerie. This can definitely also be the case here. Yeah. But overall, it's going to be a very private, intimate um, date at someone's place. Um, very romantic. And definitely it can lead to this sexual act as well. But it's going to be a very like tr genuinely filled love date because we got the Herm harmony card we got the two of cups here it's not only about um 
like this as an example this is for like this is not going to be a one night stand this is going to be the opposite of a one night stand like even if it goes to something sexual you guys will be very sure about each other's feelings you guys going to be very sure about um where you want to lead this relationship towards you know and again still not for everyone but for those who may choose to take it to the next level in which you would like to become intimate with each other but this is what i'm seeing but regardless of that two of cups a lot of love um a lot of kind of again heartfelt love you know it's not only you have this attraction and that's it no definitely not you know with this harmony card here it is kind of you guys first um connect on a soul level and then the physical comes okay this is what i'm hearing because yeah i said connect on a soul level so this can definitely be um soulmate i'm i want to be honest i even heard twin flame um take it how it resonates but this is what i heard so yeah so my dear pal three, please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. It was definitely a very beautiful energy to connect with. And first of all, thank you so much for allowing me to connect with your energy. And if you liked this reading, please let me know through a like, a comment or a subscription if you haven't. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can also feel free to email me, of course. Um, the email is down in the description box, but also in the comment section. And yeah, I will then give you further information regarding a personal reading with me. And also, my dear, if you would like to connect with me even more, you can feel free to um, follow me on Instagram. My channel's Instagram account is also in the description box down below. And of course, I invite you there as well. But yeah, my dear pal three, take care.